We have breaking news in the New York civil fraud case against former President Trump. A source with direct knowledge tells NBC News that a letter containing a white powder was sent to Manhattan Supreme Court Judge Arthur Ngoron at his chambers today. Now, we should say that Ngoron's mail is pre-screened every day, so everyone in the office is considered safe. But that news came right after Trump's lawyer said in a nearly 1,800-page motion that he will only be posting a $100 million bond, which is far below the $464 million ordered by Angoran. MSNBC legal correspondent Lisa Rubin has the latest. Um, can we just first talk about this white powder? Yeah. It seems like almost everyone who has a high-profile position related to one of the Trump cases has a scare, a threat, phone calls, people showing up at their house. This is serious stuff. This is incredibly serious stuff. And the New York DA's office has sort of compiled a record of all of those threats in order to support their own motion for a gag order in advance of their trial. This is just yet another entry in their compendium of the series of threats, verbal and otherwise, launched at participants in these various processes, Chris. All right. $464 million is what was ordered by Angora and the amount of money that he said should have to be paid, but also this uh, interest that has been accruing daily, mm -hmm. right? Can you just say, first of all, I know you want $464 million bond, but I'll give you $100 million, and here's why. No, you're not supposed to. And in particular, there is law that governs how much the bond or undertaking is supposed to be, whereas here, a judgment directs the payment of a sum of money. That bond is supposed to be equivalent to, if not greater than, the sum of money that you've been directed to pay. The Trump people acknowledge this. They say that Normally speaking, they would have to pay, I'm going to read you from the brief, to account for post-judgment interest and appeal cost, a surety, meaning an insurer that usually posts these kinds of bonds, will often set the bond amount at 120% of the judgment or more, i.e. more than $550 million. They acknowledge in the ordinary course that would be how much they would be required to put up. And then they have a creative argument. And their creative argument is, we don't object to the independent monitor that's already been appointed here, was appointed in November of 22, to stay in her job. Because if that was enough to assure the attorney general that everything would stay in place and the assets would retain their value then, pretrial, why shouldn't it be enough afterwards plus $100 million that we're willing to put up?